I bet you 20 bucks someone's gonna say, let's throw another shrimp on the barbie. All right, cheer, tell you what, bet bloody you never made this one. Well, all around this place, I tell you, I am jubbing, just jubbing, full of beans. Can I get you to say with me, how bloody are ya? How bloody are ya? It's me after half a beer. So there are certain parts of Australia where the Aussie accent is so thick, I can't even understand it. The thing that does now is Australians love to merge words, whether it be on purpose or not. I can confirm that's how a lot of Aussies speak in country towns. So Anchorman, you came pretty close. You did a good job. Now just because the real handbill doesn't mean that other bunch of malarkey is. They put in words that we never use, like malarkey. When you hear an Australian accent in a Hollywood film, it does stand out like dog's balls. Are you all right for a black? It's a shame that he's saying something pretty racist, yeah. but at the same time, it's not that shocking if that's his accent. I know that's an Australian actor, but that accent turned way up. I'm gonna report this to me member of parliament. Hey, Gus! I got something to report to you! I am from a small town and our local member of parliament did live close by and that's how my dad did approach him. I wanna take this all the way to the Prime Minister! I hate that this is our biggest representation of who we are. Hey! Mr Prime Minister! If you're looking for Malcolm Turnbull, there's a pretty good chance that he's just like floating in a little ring drinking a can of Foster's. The last time we did have a Prime Minister go in the water, he went missing. I like it. I feel like it just takes the piss, but not offensively. It's hilarious. It's just a bit of fun. If people were thinking that this is offensive to Australia, every other episode of The Simpsons is making fun of America, even this episode. Not a lot of Jewish people where you're from. Ah. Uh... No, I did do Fiddler on the Roof though in high school. It was like me and some Aboriginals. It was really Jewish. So whenever Aboriginal people come up in Hollywood movies, it's usually just as the butt of the joke or anything like that. When I see cheap gags like that, it's kind of like, oh God, yet again, are you serious? And I do wonder whether like an international audience see that and actually think that we're that stupid. I hope not. To be an Aussie on camera doesn't mean you have to be full bogan. You know, it doesn't matter if you're a small f***er or a big f***er. You can play this game because the small f***ers go in barrow and big f***ers smack them. Little f***er, little f***er, off to a big f***er. Lots of swearing. Yeah. Accurate. Fucking accurate. He's fun, he's laid back, and I guess at our core, that's what most of us Aussies are. And when we are around Americans, we do kind of exaggerate our Australian accent and culture because we want to be that cool person in their eyes. It was like they had Gogglebox on in my apartment. So that was spot on. It's an Aussie trying to get American onto Australian beer and watch Australian sport. Aussies are all guilty for that. After today, I definitely saw the stereotypes that I knew I would see. It's the same stuff over and over again. Obviously, it would be cool to get like a little bit more variety. In a bit there. of diversity Yeah, would be nice. I mean, a lot of it was just taking the piss on us and as Australians, we're pretty chill and we just don't give a f all of these portrayed us as kind of uncultured yobbos, and that's not true, you c**ts. In Australian shows, if you see an American character, we'll portray them as a big, fat, loud mouth, then how's that different to them just making us out as bogans? It's all fun, it's all banter, and it's funny.